Place in Louisiana called Super Louisiana, Central Illinois. I was from Connecticut before. I live near Charlotte, North Carolina, Brooklyn, from West Virginia, and Rockland, Maine, El Reno, Oklahoma, A little town called Sharon, Tennessee, Georgia, South Dakota. But at the time that I enlisted, I was in Lincoln, Nebraska, doing my nurses training. I did boot camp in uh, Camp Lejeune. <laughs> I went to OCS in Benning. I went to Emory Riddle Aeronautical University. Went over to India. Yeah, I started off in the Atlantic. And we made four invasions there. Yeah. I got as far as Guam. Me, I was a consul. The Army, the Volunteer Officer Corps. I was in the 57th Battalion. I was an amphibious skipper. I was on a air crew for. 22 years. We're slowly fading away. The little what two weapons are slowly fading. One of the uh, people that uh, sent the first group up there, uh, I was talking to her on the phone, and, and she said that uh, uh, something that this uh, honor flight has been trying to do uh, for some time before time runs out for so many of us. I was thankful that I was going to be able to go. It'd be an honor to be going with some of these guys. We'll watch two veterans. Our debt to the heroic men and valiant women in the service of our country can never be repaid. They have earned our undying gratitude. America will never forget their sacrifices. We took our state boards on December of 1941. That's when Pearl Harbor was bombed, you know. And so I trotted up to uh, Fort Leavenworth and signed up. When I was a kid, I saw a movie with uh, Gary Cooper and Helen Hayes. And I always wanted to be a war nurse. Not just a nurse, but a war nurse. 
And believe it or not, when we were overseas, I saw Gary Cooper. He was with the USO and he came by one time. It started getting dark. We were making our way toward the land, and uh, the machine gun fire was so heavy, uh, and everything was in a crossfire. Uh, we jumped off the pier into the water, and as uh, the tide kept coming, we kept pushing more and more to the uh, to the land. Uh, I spent uh, almost the entire night underneath that pier with all other men obviously and uh, in the morning when it started getting uh, when it started getting light I uh, a lot of the men on the pier with me were dead Thank you for your service. Welcome to your memorial. Uh, we rendezvoused with the uh, task force uh, at, at Inuit, we talk uh, in Kwajalein area, and then went to Saipan. We uh, went ashore on D plus D. Uh, they captured the airfield early on about the third day, and then went on up the island, and you've all, all of you have seen what happened at the north end of the island. The people committed suicide by jumping off the cliff at the north end of the island. You ever see that thing on the newsreel? Them guys are standing out in the middle of the street in the Philippines, and the bullets are bouncing off the walls all around me. That's where I was at. I went in the first wave of the Philippines, and the first one in New Guinea. It's hard to talk about some of it. I've seen the bomb. One of the Japanese bombs killed 34 of our guys. We buried them in the Philippines. Really? Clarence Goodwin, Navy, PT boat. My name is George Lon. I was in the Army Air Force in uh, Italy, the 15th Air Force. I was a motor machinist mate. I LCBP is a landing craft. We used to bring the troops into the beaches. It's the amphibious pieces. My name is Ruth May Haddock, now Dorseman. And I went in the Normandy invasion. I landed on uh, Omaha Beach on D6. And we were on the front line all the way across. It was almost to Berlin at the end of the war. Alexander Cornetzo, Subway Service. USS Quincy, 179. Fred Robinson. I was in the United States Army. Went to Hawaii. Lived in tents for a while and built our own barracks. And one Sunday morning after coming in, we heard brrrr, and uh, our back end of our barracks was just blown right off. Raymond K. Baird, Army Air Corps. I was in the ground crew. We used to get 300 planes a day being ferried across the South Atlantic. 
and, and we had repair depots on every island in the Caribbean. Well, I go by Stanley. My real name is Frank Wojcik, United States Coast Guard, Pacific, two years. Amphibious, LSTs. Peter, UL, UHL, the infantry. Where did I serve? Africa, D-Day, Sicily, D-Day, France, D plus two. Richard Pearson, U.S. Navy. I was on a cargo transport. We hit a typhoon out there. You see it going up and down. I thought, sure, that ship was going to sink. My name is Winifred McKinney, but we killed a friend. Niagara Falls, New York. Royal Canadian Air Force ferrying aircraft to England. Yeah, I flew uh, Lancasters and what have you to Great Britain. Walter John Wagner, U.S. Army Air Corps, San Pancrazia, Italy, yeah, on a B-24. I was a squadron engineering officer in charge of 10 planes at Bomb Plessy. Joyce, Batty, in the U.S. Navy, of well, reserve because we were waves, we weren't, you know. Women accepted for voluntary emergency service. I worked for the Fleet Post Office during World War II, and then um, in charge of uh, classified material during Korean conflict. Labe Magdul, Navy. I was in uh, North Atlantic and the Pacific. Bud Bauer, I was a senior in high school when uh, right after Pearl Harbor. And uh, the teacher says, anybody that's going to graduate in June, we'll let you go now. So I went and joined in uh, January 18th of 1942. I'm 86, 7 years old. One of the greatest days is the mail call day when mail comes in. Peter Ewell. Yeah. Gerald Yankee. Oh. Richard oh. Pearson. Oh. 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 Love your friends.